everyone, Sophia here for my great challenger. Welcome back to my channel. This is episode six of my master bedroom makeover. I am still working in the closet and today I am going to create a little cubicle um, cubby hole thing to put on my shoes right where the opening to the rest of the attic is. So um it's not gonna be too difficult i don't think because uh, you know i built my own shelving system downstairs in the uh, office but the only difference is that this is going to be on wheels why because i need to be able to take it out of the doorway in case i need access to the attic which is really a rare occasion but you never know i just don't want to lock um the attic and not have access to it i could have a uh, roof leak i could have uh any kind of issue in there, I need to be able to access it. So the best way to do this and maximize the amount of space I have in my closet, because where am I going to put the shoes, right? One of you had the brilliant idea, and I have to say it's brilliant, uh, to do a cubicle or uh, kind of like a shelving system on a cube with wheels and just insert it where the door opening is and then just leave it there. And when I need access to the attic, just pull it out of the way and have access okay so i removed the door already from the last episode you saw that and thank you for your support and all your comments from last uh video yes i will make a bigger hole in the wall and put all the wires back in right now we just wanted to have the uh, thermostat um installed on the other wall and running okay so these all these other things are going to come in later on as part of the final, um, you know, touches, I guess, for this project. So I've had questions in DM about why do I persist? I mean, literally the question is like this. Why do I persist on doing those projects where clearly I have no idea what I'm doing? Um, for many reasons. One, I need a closet. Two, I don't have the fonts. Three, I'm trying to motivate and inspire people to try hard things, to try to do hard things and take the jump. Just because you have, maybe I have minimal skills, uh, cause I mean, obviously I built the closet front, all right. Um, maybe I don't have professional skills, but there's a whole world of DIY out there. And that's the reason why stores like the Home Depot and Lowe's and Ace Hardware's are thriving. It's because people are learning to do things themselves. It's not going to be perfect. I don't expect it to be professional grade. That should not stop anyone from trying to do something. I'm not going to sit back and not do something that I need just because it's not going to be perfect. Um, that's the way my channel has always been. I really, really enjoy the interaction with you guys and being able to show you that yes ladies you can do those things um i'm not saying you don't need a man i'm not saying you don't need a partner i'm saying you can do those things and that's the end of it you can do those things so let's get started with the cubicle i have all the wood i need and i actually did buy something called mdf um one of you mentioned that i should try to build something with mdf so i got two sizes i have one that's like two three eighths of an inch and then the other one is a half an inch i've never worked with mdf before so i don't know it's heavy I, um it feels heavier than wood for some reason i guess because it's compressed um i have some regular pine and bunch of stuff and i do have wheels i bought these casters all four of them um to be able to, and you see they are 360 to be able to roll things in and out of the closet and i also bought a uh, tight bond wood glue a lot of it because we're going to need it okay let's get started Okay, so let's measure this. Uh, remember, I have two inches worth of casters. Um, and then the roof here slants. So the whole thing cannot go all the way in. It can't be the, all that deep. 
but the measurements are minus two inches. Uh, should be fifty eight. However, I do have this piece here. We're going to do 58 by 12. And then the width, 17 and a quarter. And here's my professional architectural blueprint of the little cubby I am about to make. And the measurements are 58 by 12 in depth by 17 wide. Okay. One here. Right, so here's one keeping this letting go of that so referring back to my uh, Sophia and Sophia Inc architectural interior design um, little blueprint here I know for a fact that a top and a bottom um, will not be enough to hold the frame together. I need a top, a bottom and a middle that are super strong. The middle shelf will be a support and then I can add additional shelves. So I have this piece of MDF here and remember I'm 17 um, wide and 12 deep. So I measured a top, a bottom and a middle. Uh, they're all going to get cut and this is going to be the main frame. Now I have another piece of MDF that is this thick and I think this is a half an inch. I could read the label, uh, yeah, half an inch, <laughs> that'd be easier. And that one is going to be for the back, however, it only comes in one length and that is uh, 4 feet, 48 and a half. So I'm going to have to use some of the leftover I have right here to patch the back um, instead of having one piece. So let me go ahead and cut this and then measure the other one that's for the back. You know, it's practically impossible to film in this room, right? I really don't have much space. Okay, so I here have the back and the two sides. And what I'm going to do is mark where I want to insert these, uh, whatever you call them. And they're going to go tacked here, here, and here. I have to cut them by hand, I have a hand sew, and they are going to be the support for the shelves. Uh, the main one is at the half mark, that's the um, third MDF shelf that I cut, if you remember. And the half mark is 29. So here we go. And they are perfectly aligned on the top, by the way. Okay, now do I need the full 12 inches? Probably not. Um, I'm going to cut them here and here. And then they get glued and hammered in. So you see where I lined uh, the half mark? So this is going to go right here and it will be the support for the shelf. The shelf is still going to get uh, nailed in. So this is where I need the glue for extra support. 
so put that right here So that's the support. Um, this is going to fold like this, by the way. I think you figured that out already. Uh, that's the support for the main middle shelf. So now I have to see out of the 58 how many shelves I can use. I know that one of them has to be uh, a little bit taller. That's probably going to be the bottom one. That's going to be for my cowboy boots. So let me see how tall that shelf needs to be. So this is technically uh, the bottom part. I uh, remember I'm missing some pieces I'm gonna have to patch here. But if I put my, these are my Corral um, boots. So if I put my boots like this, I need the next shelf to be about here. So let me mark that. Uh, need a little bit of room to go and grab the boots, right? So this is, 14 and a half. So the one thing I need to make sure I do is that the one that's in the back is actually way shorter than the back because this panel goes right on top of it. And here I'm right on the edges like this. So I need room for this one. I need room for this board and I need room for this one. So the one that's in the back, make sure you make it much shorter. Um, but you get the idea, right? Okay, so let me do a couple more and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the part which started to get a little crazy. Um, where's my glue? Right here. So, I'm gonna start with this one. And this goes here. I will um, nail it from the back of it. Okay, I don't need the sticker right here. I hope you're saying what I'm doing. This. So I have one nail holding it and what I need to do is bring in the other piece right here and that goes right here. So same thing, I gotta glue it and nail it at least temporarily so that I can stand it and start uh, nailing the back. So one thing you want to make sure you do is that whichever way you placed it up this side you want to make sure you're placing it the same way on this side because if you don't 
then you're off totally off so I'm going to nail it right here So that's pretty much just like uh, the IKEA furniture, right? You're gonna put a hundred nails um, in the back of it to make sure it's nice and secure. And as I'm doing that, it's making sure that everything is aligned. So right now I'm good and flushed. Okay, so for the bottom, you remember I'm missing a piece, right? Because this uh, piece of uh, MDF, and by the way, I'll never work with MDF again. I don't like it at all, at all. <laughs> I needed to add a piece right here because it wasn't the right length. So I'm going to put it right here. And it's going to be used for the support for the bottom. All right. So the bottom is going to basically get attached to this, this, and this. Let me nail that in. And this is going to be um, a little hole that I will use uh, for ventilation. Because I still need to have some air that circulates from the attic into the rest of the room. We don't want to create, especially in the summer, because it's uh, it gets hot in here. This needs to get sanded. So now I'm gonna put the bottom, which right now is at the top. Uh, and that's the part that's going to have the casters. So this is the first time that I work with MDF and I'll say it again, you'll never see me use MDF again. It has zero flexibility. At least with wood, if I'm off by a little bit, I can hammer it in one way or another and secure it. This is so inflexible. You absolutely cannot move it one way or the other. You're pretty much stuck with this. So your measurements have to be perfect and we hope now. That's not my area of expertise. Okay, so this is done. So right now it's right side up. Um, and you can see that there's a higher shelf here at the bottom. That's because I'm putting my uh, boots there. Um, these appear to be aligned. Wasn't easy, but I got it. What I'm going to do is put the uh, stronger shelf right here. And then I'm going to hammer it in and um, you know tack it in to make sure that it gives me extra support then install the rest of the shelf then the casters and we'll roll it in see how it fits and then I gotta make it pretty so making it pretty means that I have to sand a lot <laughs> sand uh, the edges you know kind of make everything smooth um, those nails were too long it's the back I don't care um, but otherwise, yeah, it worked. It's a cubby. And then even though I don't plan on moving this thing, uh, more than once a year maybe, I remembered from having disassembled a gazillion pieces of furniture in the past that they do use those little, uh, square thing. I had left over of those and I pretty much glued them in the corner here at the bottom. I put three. And I did the same thing here on the top and those are solid, they're not going anywhere. So I'm going to attach the shelves, uh, then flip it 
put the casters, sand it, because there's some areas where you can see I'm a little off. I want to make sure, because it's snug into the opening. I want to make sure that it fits nicely and then uh, we'll fit it in and see how it goes. So here comes middle shelf. Put some glue. I'll say it again. You will see me work with MDF again. Did not like it at all as a material. Um, I don't know if I really need to uh, nail them in because this is going to be glued in. I'm off a little bit here. Nobody cares. <laughs> uh, next shelf. Let's do this one. Be nice if I wasn't sloppy with the glue. So you get the idea, right? And then the whole idea here was to make sure that I could fit my boots, and I can. Okay. the casters and I'm using the smallest screw that I have which is really a little bit too big so I can't put the screw all the way in if I do it pokes a hole on the other side so I gotta be uh, gentle <laughs> Okay, moment of truth. Here we go. Oh. All right. So it can't go any further in because of um. Well, let me see. This is the furthest end that it can go because of the roof um, thing. But it's removable and now I have a cubicle. Be nice if it was going all the way in. Uh, let's see. I was tilting it. No, it's touching the uh, the ceiling. All right, so I can stay like this. Okay, so I did remove the top part here of the uh, door to make sure um, that it would fit in and that can be put back in temporarily like this. And again, it's on wheel. I can remove it anytime I want. Let me show it to you and then I'll say goodbye. Okay, moment of truth. It's a little bit off. Not by much, but it's a little off. I got a crooked house. What do you want me to do? Okay, so I was thinking 
Now that I see it this way, um, you know, it was nice to think about the shoes, but this is much better for t-shirts. T-shirts, jeans, um, I, got, I gotta clean this room. I can still put my boots at the bottom because it's tall enough, but I can do like baskets. I can do all sorts of things with this because shoes, let's face it, I own six pairs. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Um, the shoes that I don't use, I gotta uh, re uh, nail this. The shoes that I don't use, I can put all the way on top on the shelves and then I can put just a shoe rack here at the bottom and that would avoid having for me to put um, you remember I wanted to put something like with drawers uh, I wouldn't need that because this is almost 12 inches I can fold t-shirts and put them in there and I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do but if I'm gonna do that I'm definitely gonna have to paint this um, but anyway all right let me clean up and then uh, I'll say goodbye, but phew, it's five o'clock. I spent the whole day. Um, this thing had me sweating and I can remove it very easily. You saw it's got wheels, right? So I can easily uh, remove it if I need to do an inspection in the uh, attic, which really we never do. Oh, I got sawdust everywhere, um, but this is cool. All right, let me take a break. I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to clean up everything here. And then I'll give you uh, a whole look of the closet and uh, we'll talk about what we're going to do next time, which for me is going to be tomorrow. Okay, so here we go. Cleaned up everything and boy, did I need to clean. Um, but this is where I'm at. I said I was going to do a cubby right here, inserted where the attic is. And I did just that. You can see I got my shoes, two pair of boots here at the bottom. Um, I may keep the boots down there and then put other stuff here, but I'm thinking that this would be better used for t-shirts and jeans and whatnot. So, of course, everything's going to get sheet rocked. I'll have to have light um, inside, but it's uh, it's shaping up. So, let me put the camera on the tripod so I can have a chit-chat with you and uh, tell you what we're going to do next. Okay, so I'm using this angle so you can see it in the background and we can talk about it. Um... This was a horrendous experience. I am not going to lie. I sweated bullets, okay, doing this because because <laughs> the MDF is a very difficult material to use if you don't have the proper equipment. I do not have a table saw. Um, I wish I did. It would have been an easy zoop, zoop, you know, done, do the angles, all of that. I don't have this. I have uh, a reciprocating sew and a circular sew, and that's about it, and my hands. Very difficult to work with. Uh, the dust that comes out of it is horrible. Um, I much rather work with wood. Wood is soft. You can do all sorts of things with it. Um, I think I would have been done three hours ago if I had done it entirely in wood. That's just, you know, my thoughts on this. now. It's protruding a little bit by about four inches. If I was to make it, it's 11, uh, the depth is actually 11 and one quarter. If I was doing it nine inches, what would happen is that the shoes would start to hang outside of it. Um, again, it doesn't go all the way in because of the eaves uh, of the roof. So at some point, it basically, if the eaves like this, at some point it touches it, all right? I could have made it lower. Um, it would have been able to go all the way up inside the attic, but then I would have this empty space on top, and I didn't want that. I didn't know what to do with the empty space. I could have done one that was absolutely fitted with the angle and even keep the beam inside the, uh, uh, the top cubby. Come on. Okay, I just did a cubby. Um, so it doesn't really bother me. Is it taking room from the closet? Not really, because if I decide that I want to put uh, baskets with clothes in there or even just put my t-shirts on there, it's giving me all the room I was supposed to have here 
for something on wheels with drawers so it's actually saving me a ton of room what am I gonna do with my shoes uh, shoes I can have them in boxes uh, right here stacked or I can have them downstairs I can put at the put them at the bottom of the other closet um, you know there's a lot of things I can do for shoes um, I don't know where you guys keep your shoes I keep my shoes upstairs some people keep their shoes downstairs um, I really don't have a lot so it's not gonna be an issue but I do like the one at the bottom here for my um, boots that I'm gonna keep my boots are gonna stay there so we'll see what I end up doing with it it's probably maybe even a mix of shoes and clothes I don't know um next episode episode number seven what am i going to do i need to install the shelving uh make the hole bigger for the wires so that the connections to the thermostat go back inside the wall um so i need to do that i need to install the shelves uh, the shelves are not going to be too much of a problem to install but they need to be installed and then so that's gonna be like what a couple of minutes right you never know uh, then I have to start uh, getting sheetrock <laughs> so then I'm doing the sheetrock uh, I'd like to sand this a little bit well it doesn't really need to to be honest um, I don't need to sand it I do have one area on the other side where I need to uh, plane it because it's protruding a little bit and that's going to be um it's not going to be flush for the um sheetrock so i'll do that and so i'll probably go and get sheetrock sometimes um saturday i may even go tomorrow morning i don't know we'll see uh anyway so this was number six it was tough i did it it's done i don't even want to make another one <laughs> again Definitely not with uh, MDF, but the moral of this episode is what? Um, don't be afraid of doing the hard things. Uh, don't be afraid of stepping out of your comfort zone just because you have a set skills, you know, um, you know how to do X, Y, and Z with such material. Doesn't mean that everything has to be that way. You can uh, try to experiment. My experiment today was MDF. It was a total fail for me. I didn't like using it. Maybe some of you love using MDF. I personally did not, but I've learned a good lesson. So there's always something to learn. Um, so push yourself and don't be afraid. Don't worry about what people have to say. Um, again, we don't pay our bills with the opinions of others. <laughs> so do you, if you need something like this in your closet, go ahead and build it. Uh, who's gonna come over to your house and inspect your work if it works and it holds your shoes that's all you need okay so let's stop being let's stop second guessing ourselves and always like oh yeah but what are they gonna say and what about this and forget it just get it done so bottom line is that I'm here to inspire you to try hard things and to try new things okay um, don't wait just do it really the opinions of others do not matter and they most certainly don't pay your bills okay Scott and I went to uh, Home Depot the other day and we picked colors I don't know if it's gonna show on camera so here are the colors that we picked for this bedroom with gold okay we'll see where the gold goes so uh, the cathedral is gonna get I'm getting rid of the yellow it's gonna be this color instead okay do you see how it's already uh, much brighter right okay and then where i have the green um at the bottom of the uh you know of the stairs because remember the stairs have two colors it's going to be this color instead and then instead of doing the ceiling this color we're going to do it i have to find it it's that old um wallpaper that you can wa um, wash and that you can paint for some reason i believe it's called sanitex but apparently it's not <laughs> okay it's got different names but it's a uh, um, raised, has a relief uh, wallpaper. So that's going to be the whole ceiling. And then the wall where the window is, is going to be this blue. And the rest of the bedroom is going to be uh, this white. And the wall on this side is going to be this blue right here. 
there's not going to be a lot of it because I have an idea of some more construction on the other side but we'll talk about it at a later time uh, it's not for clothes but might as well tell you it's gonna be a bookcase I'm gonna do a corner bookcase over there um, so above the bookcase is gonna be this blue and then um, this color you know for trim so the trim here is gonna be this color anyway I'm rambling I am tired it's six o'clock I need to go and edit this video I hope you enjoyed this um, I hope you've got an idea of how I build it it was not complicated but I made it complicated and um, I stressed over it for no reason whatsoever other than wanting to have it done and now it is done and I'm happy um, yeah I am I am happy so remember this um, a hole at the bottom underneath the wheels so there's air circulating there and then there's an opening behind my boots as well so there's air circulating there as well so air is circulating and then on this side of the wall here the wall that's um, the tall wall that I built at the bottom I'm going to put two grids um, ventilation grids so there will be air circulating through the closet we don't have to worry about um, you know weird smell or you know heat smell in the summer and all of that so that's it Whew. give me a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner check out my um, my great challenge gift on Etsy for t-shirts and mugs Frenchie and Tubby for uh, vintage finds uh, if you're looking for a gift and of course my Facebook and my Instagram at my great challenge and like and share this video I will talk to you later thanks for watching you guys bye hey it's me and guess what click that thumbs up if you really like this video thumbs down twice if you didn't you can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.